I know some beauties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection. What's up you guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor, subscribe, hit that bell notification, come join the team cause we getting baddies over here. Today's video, it might be a little heartbreaker. Some news you ain't expecting. Bro, I'm gonna keep it a bug with you. She is not waiting on you. She's not. The girl of your dreams, the girl you've been crushing over, the girl you've been talking to for all this time, you guys aren't official, were official, it doesn't matter, she's not waiting on you. Even if you guys are talking, even if you guys are exclusive, you're not. In her mind, she ain't got a ring, it don't mean a thing. I'm sorry. Now most of this applies to, you know, you guys broke up, you guys stopped talking, whatever the case is, you guys are separated. Okay, I'm gonna break that down first. When a woman breaks up with a man, whether it's her or you broke up with her, it doesn't matter. She is not sitting around crying and sulking. Maybe for the first week. Let's say you guys were in a long relationship. Serious one. A week. Tops. That's how long she gonna just. <laughs> Why they have to buy me that Birkin dog? That's all I'm thinking about. Ain't nobody else gonna buy me a Birkin. You right about that. Nobody else gonna do it. You know what I mean? You messed up, girl. You should come back. No, I'm just kidding. She's done. She's out. She's gone. Bro, let her go. She is not waiting around though. After that week come and goes, she out here. Bro, she back on her rotation that she had while she was talking to you. Women have very short-term memory when it comes to emotions. At first, a guy breaks up, they, they, you know what I'm saying, try to stay strong for all that time, right? And then later on, it really catches up to him like, ah, that girl's gone. All the emotions start to rise up. It's the same with women, but women, they go through it right away. And then once they go through it, they turn real bitter. Real bitter and they try to find better. They like, oh, okay. It couldn't have been me. It had to be him. I ain't gonna be sitting around waiting on him. They're not waiting on you. They're not focused on them, so you will be too. You know I always tell you guys focus on you and the women will too? It doesn't work the same for them. They focus on themselves, but not for you to focus on them. They might do it to boost their ego. They might do it so that you see them, but it's not so that they could be back with you. They want you to see her doing well. That's not so that you guys could be together. It's not. That's for herself. So she's not waiting on you and sitting there, I hope things work out. Maybe if time goes by, then he'll realize I'm the one for him and he'll come sweep me up. She ain't waiting for Mr. Right. She looking for Mr. Right now. She's at the 21 Savage. She looking for the next dude to just be that alpha, give her all this dominant masculine energy, come at her correct. You know what I'm saying? Like, what's good? You finally dropped that lane? They gonna talk down on you, bruh. And she gonna chime in. She gonna be like, yeah, he was so lame. He bought me a burger or whatever, but like, that's not even like, yeah, who cares? It's just $30,000, it's not even that serious. But he lame, like, he was always there for me. Like, he never really did anything wrong. But he lame, like, he just like, you know, he would always rub my back whenever I like, had a long day at work and I was stressed out and then he would turn on the bubble bath and then he would buy me flowers occasionally, not too much where it became like a simp. But you know, he was, you know, lame. He was laying. I ain't waiting on him. They gonna go out, they gonna party, they gonna have a great time with their girls. Their girlfriends are always gonna tell them, you don't need him, girl. You could do better. Go meet uh, Daquan. Daquan got a long one. And she like, oh really? Okay. She goes, finds out it's not as long as yours. Pause. And then she starts lying to herself. This is the best I've ever had. Impregnate me, Daquan. And then she having a baby by Daquan. And you over here like, how did she move on so fast? Because she wasn't waiting on you. Women will do anything to get over you. Now I'm saying this because I want you guys to stop thinking in a sip a beta mindset. These women are being ruthless. They aren't out here. It doesn't matter if you guys have been together for five, 10 years. They aren't out here waiting on you. Sitting around being hopeful. I, I, I know that if I, if I just wait, that he'll realize uh, all of this love that we've built over this decade, it, it really means something. He'll come back and treat me right. They know dudes are dogs now. So they gonna start barking and biting and doing everything dogs do. They trying to take their power back. And another thing, as far as women are waiting, like let's say you guys are talking, like I was saying in the beginning, right? You guys have been talking for a minute and you're thinking, all right, well, we're probably exclusive. Like, she probably ain't talking to other dudes. Like, we hang out all the time, da da da. Nah, bruh. Women, if you are not locking them down and proving that you are all about them, they have options open, open, open at all times. So, you guys have a semi fallout, a little argument, 
Whatever, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Guess what? She been talking three dudes in between today and tomorrow. 24 hours? That's a lot of time, my brother. Now, I'm not saying this for you to be over here stressing through those 24 hours. I'm saying this for you to realize you need to be on the same thing as her. Why are you acting like the female over here? She, she's like, I'll talk to you tomorrow. You're like, oh, she gonna be with another dude. Oh my gosh. It doesn't matter, bro. You need to stop acting like you own these women. She's not yours, it's just your turn. Women are temporary. You need to think of women as leases. You're leasing her, right? And I mean this in the most respectful way because when you lease something, let's say you lease a car, right? You go keep it in the best possible shape you can. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna take it in for maintenance every now and then. You're gonna try to avoid curbs and you're gonna take it nice and slow. Like, let's say it's an exotic car. You got a Lamborghini and you, you know what I'm saying? You can't drive it too fast over speed bumps. So you taking your time with it. You go get a car wash because you got to make sure it looks good. It's the same with the woman. But at the end of the day, you don't have to take it back. Now, I'm not saying you're for sure going to like dump this girl or she going to dump you. But you have to have that mindset because that non-attachment is what's going to give you any possibility of having longevity with a woman. If you act like you own the car, right? Then you like, hey, I can just do whatever I want. Da, da, da. I, ain't, I ain't really focused too much on it because it's mine. Like, it starts to get dirty. You're like, that's yeah, cool. You scuffed it a little bit. I, I'll fix that later. But at the same time, you still want to keep it nice because it's yours. But you're like, you know what? I, I'm not too. I'm not too worried about it. Like, I'll get around to it, right? I'm not saying. You have to take a woman very serious like if you're treating her like a lease. What I'm saying is you have to stay up on game, right? You have to make sure you're always playing. But at the same time, the game could be over just like that, all right? So chill out. She's not yours. She's not waiting on you. The sooner you realize she's not waiting on you, the sooner you'll be like, all right, well, I'm not going to wait on her. I'm not going to put all of my time and my energy in this relationship that might not work out. And from there, you won't be hurt. From there, you'll know how to maneuver through the relationship. And therefore, if it doesn't work out, it's not your fault because you played the game right. So it's a win-win. You ain't going to get hurt either way because you knowing how to move so you don't get hurt. And you're not so attached. Alright you guys, hope you liked that video right there. If you did, please do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Winning with Women ebook. And until next time, focus on you and the women will too. I know some and Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas.